Hi everybody! I hope everybody is doing well and keeping your spirits up as best as you can during these uncertain times. Today I'm going to be showing you some easy DIYs that you can make at home for your sweet little doggies. This first DIY is an easy braided dog toy. This is kind of like those rope toys that you can get in the pet shop, but you can make this with old fabric that you have at home really inexpensively. I took this scrap fabric that I have at home, as well as this old t-shirt that I found laying around. You can always just use that one t-shirt, but I wanted to try and add a fun little color to the toy, so I added that turquoise fabric. Start off by cutting the fabric or t-shirt into long strips. You'll need three strips for each toy. So since I'm going to be making two toys, I'm cutting these three strips of the turquoise fabric as well as three strips of the striped t-shirt. Then I'm separating them into two groups of three strands each. Next, I am taking the three strands and tying them into a knot at the top. I taped the strand down so that it would be easy to braid without it moving everywhere, but that's totally up to you. I then went ahead and started braiding the toy very tightly. You can make the toy whatever length you think will work. I have two small dogs, so I went with a smaller braid. It is important to braid longer than what you want the cutoff to be so that the braid will be very tight. What you're going to want to do is to tie the knot into the braid so that you can just unfurl the rest of the braid afterwards. At the end, tie it off and then trim the ends clean. This next DIY is for all the doggies out there who love those crackly water bottle toys. Unfortunately that's not mine, but I know a lot of friends who have dogs who are obsessed with water bottles. There's two versions of this that I'm going to show you, one for a bigger dog and one for smaller dogs who may not be able to get their chompers around a big water bottle. I'm starting off with this thick woven grey fabric to make the toy more durable. For the smaller version of the toy, I will be cutting a small rectangle. This is completely up to you what size you'd like it to be. For the larger version of this toy, with the entire water bottle, I measured the height of the water bottle and made sure to leave a large seam allowance for sewing and made sure the width is enough to wrap around the bottle as well. I am folding the two fabric pieces in half and pinning them together, then sewing the edges. For the smaller toy, I will be sewing around the entire length, leaving a part of the edge open so we can flip it around and stick in the plastic bottle bits. Then I'm going to turn it inside out. Taking an old water bottle that I found in the house, I am cutting it up into smaller pieces and then stuffed it into the pouch for the toy. Then I'm going to take this back to the sewing machine and do a top stitch around the edge to secure it. For the bigger toy, I'm going to start by sewing two of the sides to the bottom and the long length. We'll do the top later. I want to create a bottom boxed edge as well, so I'm just eyeballing it and pinching the sides together and sewed a straight line over just like what is shown. Then you can cut off the excess fabric. I turned the fabric inside out and inserted the water bottle. Make sure that you have the plastic cap off as well. Lastly, I folded in the top edge and sewed a straight edge over to complete the toy. This next project is a cute little bandana. My dogs, well specifically R2, he's the one in this video since Obi was being super shy when I was trying to get those nice shots, really loves wearing clothing and also bandanas. I thought it'd be a cute way to spice up their style. I'm starting off with this piece of scrap fabric that I had laying around. It has bunnies on it which I thought was perfect with Easter coming up and the fact that when R2 runs he hops like a little rabbit and I love it. It just seemed to match up. The first thing I did was fold the corners up to create a triangle and cut it out. 
I also cut out two long strips for the sides of the bandana. Now that the fabric is cut out, I fold it in about one centimeter around the bandana and pin the hem. Then I'm going to sew around this hem to create a nice straight edge. I'm also folding the two long strips in half and will be sewing down the outer edge of the sides. Then I'm going to use a marker to flip the strip inside out. As you can see, I had a lot of trouble with this. I know there are tools that help you do this and I need to get one when I can. Next, I am pinning the two side pieces to the main fabric of the bandana and I'll be sewing the three pieces together. I am folding over the raw edge of the side pieces so that it will be sewn in with the bandana as well. I'm also folding the raw edge at the end of the tie and sew that down so it'll look really nice and clean. This last DIY is definitely the favorite between my two dogs. I only made one of these and they kept fighting over it, so I'll need to pick up some more materials to make this once this quarantine is over. The things that you'll need is some scrap fabric as well as a toy squeaker. I got this from one of their old toys that came with an extra squeaker, but you can also recycle old toys if your dog's also enjoying ripping their toys apart like mine do. I'm taking this fabric and I'm first going to decide how big I want the toy to be. I know that my dogs personally like small toys, so I'm going to make it a small square about 2.5 inches. Just like the toy with the plastic bottle inside, I'm going to sew around the sides, leaving a small hole to stuff the squeaker in there. After sewing this, I turn it inside out and put the squeaker in there. To finish this off, I'm going to top stitch around the toy. You can also stuff some cotton in there, but I know that my dogs like to tear apart toys and often leave the cotton everywhere, so I decided not to. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video gave you some ideas on how you can make some cute DIYs for your dogs. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more DIY and bullet journal content.